Hi everyone, welcome back to Chino Does Stuff. It's fantastic to have you here. On today's episode, I'm going to be looking at form field validation using Power Apps rules. Now, rules are a lesser known feature in Power Apps, but I think they're the simplest and quickest way to implement data validation in your Power App. Let me show you how to do it. Creating forms that input data into SharePoint or another data source, you're, um, you're inevitably going to have to check that uh, input data, and a lot of the time it's just a matter of making sure that a field is not blank when you're submitting, or maybe a field um, is a certain pattern, or you just want to visually prompt the, the user. Um, about uh, like with a warning or something before uh, something is submitted you can do all this with rules it's uh, really up to your imagination how complex you want to make them but in this example I'm going to show you a really simple way to just uh, implement uh, form validation and uh, field validation and this will um, get you over the line when you need to do that with your own app so um, in our application our screen that we input data in is called just SER new so here's our input screen we've got we've only got three fields here a date from a date to and a reason for our request and we also have a save button now it's the um, save button we want to affect but we uh, first off let's create a rule on our reason box um, Obviously, we don't want users to submit a request, a leave request, without a reason. So let's throw a new rule. And just actually, just before I do that, let me show you where this is. If you haven't, if you don't know where to find this, so I'm clicking on the reason box, and in here we can see we've got three different properties for that text box. We've got properties, our basic properties, our rules, and our advanced properties. Now you probably used these and skipped the rules um, up until this point, but uh, let's land on rules today and we're going to create a new rule. Now what's our condition? So what, what do we want our rule to activate on? And um, you got to think of rules as something that are, they're running all the time. They're being checked all the time. So this is, as soon as this condition is met, this rule is going to uh, instantly go into effect. So um, uh, quite nicely, Power Apps is giving us some um, uh, probably uh, conditions that you're going to use over and over. Um, you do have the option of doing a custom condition, but we've got the condition here that we want to use for this one and it's is blank so um, I do want to, uh, this rule to activate when the reason field is blank and uh, let's define our actions now what this uh, what we've done here is um, when we're defining our action this is now letting us um, basically play out and do all the different um, options that we want to happen when our reason field is blank. So all I want to do here is um, I want our save icon because I'm trying to prevent users from saving this, um, this uh, request to SharePoint when the reason box is empty. So I'll, I'll click on the our save box and I'll go down to the um, display property, display mode property, and in here I just want to make that disabled and done. Okay, so it comes back to our rule editor and we can see the condition is is blank. That's our only condition. We could add more if we wanted to. And then what happens here is um, the display, the button save, the display mode is disabled. If we run our app, you can see now our save mode is disabled because we haven't put a reason into our, our input form. If we start typing a reason, we are, na we are now able to save. If I go back and delete, our save button is disabled again.
So that's a really quick, easy way to implement a bit of validation on that field. We can go a, a little bit further with this and make this uh, just make the user experience a bit nicer. So what I'll do here is I'll insert a label. I'm just going to have a label next to my field here. Make sure this text lines up so it's nice. I'll actually um, might make the font a little bit smaller. That'll do. And I'm going to make the text say... Oh, cannot be left blank. Also, might just put little asterisks there as well and change the colour to red. If we go back to our rule, so I select the field again, you can see our rule here. I might change the name as well so it makes a bit more sense. And I'm just going to call it reason blank. Let's just hide this field by default. Visible is false. I call that again I just uh, let's name this field um, reason blank now in our rule let's go into our reason blank rule let's define a new action and our reason blank we want to make it true because we want this to be shown we want to make that visible when reason is blank. So let's see how that looks. So you can see that cannot be left blank. As soon as I start, type, start typing, that warning message disappears and we have our save button. So let me give you an example of a uh, creating a custom custom condition for a rule. So let's, um, let's just say we want a rule on our um, on our date to field and we want the rule to not allow our user to be able to save a request when the date to field is less than the date from field so in here we want to add a new rule let's add a condition we're going to use a custom condition this time is date to selected date less than date from selected date so that's our custom condition so date 2 selected date is less than and you can see we can just use all of our normal logic operators here I want to define an action so when it is, our display mode, I'll just get rid of these other conditions here. And we just want the display mode to be disabled again. So the tricky thing was there that we could see the previous rule, um, previous rule can, uh, logic or a previous rule logic in that field there but um, what happens is if we're adding another rule action to that field we just want to define here what the action for this particular rule is going to be click done so we can see a display mode cancelled or dis uh, display mode disabled sorry and if we go in here, just to give you a little example of what I meant by that, we can see that Power Apps has just created a nested if for us. And that handles the logic for both rules. Let's test that out. 
All right, both of our dates are the same at the moment, but we've got some data in the re we've got some text in the reason box and we can currently save. But if I go and select a previous date, we're now disabled, this is invalid. So let's just um, finish the, that off from a user experience point of view. Let's create a new label. This field is visible false by default, but our rule, we want to define another action. The action will be, we want to make this label visible true. You can see it's added that new action. All right, so let's give that a go. Get rid of this. Also see that field cannot be left blank. So both of our warning messages are showing. We change the date sometime in the future, well, sometime after our date from. Okay, that warning message is gone for our date, but we still have a disable button because our reason is blank. So let's put a reason in. Because I need a holiday. It's quite a good holiday there. And now I'm able to click save. And there's our request. Alrighty then, that's form validation and power up rules in the bag. If you like this video, give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to support the channel. Leave some comments below if you want to leave feedback or need some help with your power up. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.